Maybe the American government was on to something when they started printing up slogans with, in God we trust all over the currency. Because honestly, the way people worship money, you gotta imagine they think they can find God on one of them dollar bills. Like it's just a new religion. Like the rich just keep getting richer with this type of greed. It just seems that they were preparing to die and take all that shit with them. So I question if they've read their Bible. Because I'm sure if God had put some cash, he wouldn't off the paper with the faces of presidents. So I'm about to start printing up new money. But single dollar bills with Bob Marley on the front put blunt in his mouth. And on the back of a photo of Fidel Castro waving a Cuban flag. And a close up of him bending over this big Cuban ass. Just so I can see the faces of the gluttons that roam around the White House administration. Placing embargoes on countries because they can't get along with a few men. So I'm about to start printing up new money with $5 bills marked with the faces of miscellaneous third world children. Just so when you go shop on Rodale Drive, I hope your conscience can just fuck with you the second you add just to the cash register and you can see the people who you're truly leaving deprived. Because believe me, Fidel eats well. Him and Exxon got something in common. The systems ain't going out of business. I mean, at least the only difference, at least he offers some type of relief during hurricane season while all companies just sat back and got rich. So you tell me who's the communist. And me, I'm about to start printing up new money with $10 bills marked with the faces of black men being hung from trees. Just so when brothers buy that dime bag of weed, they'll know what it really means to be hanging with your homies high on trees. And instead of having a pocket full of 20s, I just print up something new like $33 bills. Just to represent the trinity of life people live off of, with the faces of Bill Gates, Vanessa Del Rio, and Pablo Escobar, because this world seems like it couldn't survive more for money, sex, and drugs. And just for Tim Hardaway's bitch ass, I'll start printing up $50 bills with the faces of hate crime victims, Matthew Shepard and Charles Howard, just so homophobic men will go broke, because they're ignorant and will get their hands dirty by touching the money they can spend. And I'll start printing up $69 bills with all kind of photos of gels and sex toy items just for those in touch with their sexual preferences. And $99 bills, just so people can stop trying to be perfect. Because life is all about growth and progress. At least you have so much room to improve with 1% left. And my elusive $100 bill, I leave it plain. Without a marking on it, just so families can go ransacking through grocery stores and start filling the food out in their cabinets by duplicating the paper and making it whenever they wanted it. And I leave it bare, no face, no words, no number, just some cut out two by six. And I leave it as is. Like, you could take a crayon and start blending in whatever color you felt should be shaded in. Or maybe you could just use a pen and write in whatever comment or slogan you felt unique your day. And I leave it blank, like it was as empty as nothing and as pure as faith. Because if you trust in God, you could know money ain't worth shit anyway. Give it up, come on, boss.